Hello and welcome to The Real. I'm Kevin Gomez. We all have our favorite cartoon characters. My favorite is Batman, mainly because of the illustration and the way he's depicted. Some people are such huge fans of these animated creations that they decide to take that particular art and make it their own. That's the case with Marvin Escorce. Marvin takes artwork from comics and cartoons and recreates them based on his own imagination. He's what you call a fan artist. In his film, Govinda Rappersad examines this unique yet controversial type of artistry. Hey Govinda, how are you? Welcome to The Real. Thanks man, thanks for having me. No, no problem at all. Uh, before you did the film, did you know anything at all about film, excuse me, fan artistry? Uh, not really. Just I just see ca uh, kids in classes drawing like anime or uh, cartoons because they just out of bored or just want to get over with the class. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a look at the film. Let's do it. Fan art is someone who creates art based on their favorite animation or animator. They're only able to copy another artist's style. I don't necessarily call it stealing, it's just Picasso said a good artist copy but a great artist steal. It helps me get better and explore new stuff. To make a scene, I look at various artists. Perks, so I'll say Kenichi Yoshida. I, I like his style, it's very captivating to me. It just catches my attention. Even stuff that you see daily on the street, it influences me to make a scene. First, I start with a pencil sketch. And then, I scan it into the computer. And after that, I go about create, I go about coloring it and adding a scenery. I do a lot of 3D modeling, 3D animation. I also do a lot of photo manipulation, special effects. I like trying new stuff. Music is a big influence in my art. Like if I listen to something really soft and smooth, I create like a very serene type of art. If I listen to something very, like, say, hard rock or something, I create something really crazy. show if my work is through the internet community called avianart.com. Basically the site consists of billions of different artists. Some of the feedbacks have been good, but, and also bad. I prefer the bad feedbacks, like the harsh ones, because that helps me get better faster. It makes me want to create better work so I can make those bad comments into good comments. There's a lot of upcoming artists, like new artists, who look at my work and they get captivated with it. They say that they like the way I did the colors, or the way I did the transition and the values. In five years, I like to see myself working in an art studio. To me, art is like taking a part of yourself and putting it in your work. And through doing that, I would like to influence other people or artists to be able to see a part of themselves they've never seen before with my art. Crush a cold to a diamond, eyes forever shining. Your beauty alone is fire, a nigga to rhyme it. Thinking of the better things in life. Artist, he just used to show me his drawings, like, oh, look, mm -hmm. look what I can do. Are you, like, you like Dragon Ball Z, right? I'm like, yeah. Like, look, I drew, I drew this character. How does it look? Does it look the same? Oh, well, did you draw at the time to compare? Did you guys ever compare artwork? Really, I didn't really draw. I drew more like symbolic symbols, like this little like tattoo, flame mark, something like that. He was more into like the character design, like game design and all that. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, so as the years went by, he, you could say he developed a interest for fan artistry. But like around when was that? 
would you that say? hit around like between junior high school and high school because we would like over the summer i used to go over his house he showed me like oh look what i did man this is like does this look good what should i do i'm like yeah it looks good and you can just keep it up <laughs> so from humble beginnings he became yeah. great artist so would you say that artists who create their own original work look down on fan artists I don't think they look down, but I think they like critique them more because they all, they all, all, uh, this is what I got from Marvin himself. He said all artists start off as a fan artist or just being a fan in general. Okay. And like want to like take ideas off a real artist, like bounce ideas back and forth. And from there you can move on and critique the people under you so you can tell them how to be, get up there. So what I'm getting from you is that there's no competitive nature in, in artistry. In there this is form of art. there is a competitive nature like oh look he did something good like I just I don't want to one up him but I want to show him like oh I can do something good as well. That's true. Uh, so all right so a fan artist would take an advice from an original artist. Yeah. And they all start off that way. Yes. So, Not like, like take advice but like take their picture themselves and like see if they can like copy that image or like bounce you know, like something off of it like mm -hmm. a certain style or flair to it. So all right so copyright infringement is big issue with fan artistry would you say that of uh, an original uh, a professional artist would go after a fan artist not if like the fan artist is trying to make money off of like what he has done or his style if it was like uh, oh like i put on the forums like show like all the other people like on deviant art it's all right but if you're trying to make money off of it like claim it as your own no i no. think they, uh, they should go after him cool, him cool. so what about uh original characters Say what, all right, when Marvin starts drawing, painting, or whatever he wants to do, yeah. uh, what does he look for in a character? It's between a combination of things. Like, it can be something he's seen that day, or a movie he saw, or just music in general. He just takes that, draw up a sketch at home, and then, like, try to see what he can, like, bring out of that. And then go on from, like, just drawing and coloring and put it in the computer so you can, add, like, add on backgrounds, colors, effects, and all that. So would you say that, that one piece of work would influence another? Like, there would be a theme? behind many pieces of art, or it's just yeah. one different one, another different one, and another different one. Like, when I see from more, like, sometimes it goes in stretches of themes. Okay. Like, that, like you might see, like, dark, like, black tone, like, art, and all of a sudden you might see a skip to, like, more serene lights, because probably music you listen to or, like, something on his playlist. <laughs> oh, pretty. Oh, so, yeah. let's go to this, the, the yeah. music. He said that he, every time he listens to something different, he yeah. gets inspired. Yeah. So what? So would you say his music playlist is very diverse? What other music would he listen to to create other things besides dark or bright uh, characters or anything like it's, that? It's very diverse because I listen to like I listen mostly the same music he listens to. A lot of instrumentals for, like serene, like calm art, but like a lot of hard rock for like that, like head banging, <laughs> <laughs> head banging art. music, yeah. hard metal. Yeah. Uh, no classical at all. Not what about really... Miley Cyrus? Does, no, does she no. inspire you? No. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So uh, he, he said that he receives good, good feedback and bad feedback, yeah. uh, which is pretty harsh. We saw the film. Yeah. Do you think that anyone ever accused him of stealing artwork? Because he is a fan artist. So uh, any, anybody would accuse him of stealing? They, uh, not accuse him of like, stealing, but accuse him of doing a bad job because like, he takes it as constructive criticism, even mm -hmm. though like, they might curse at him like, oh, do this, do that. But he sees it like... like I can improve. Like, they tell me what to do, I can improve on it. Pretty cool. So, um, does he have any any professional artists that he looks up to beside Picasso? Because he quoted Picasso. Right now, one of his, like, kind of like mentors is uh, his uh, professor, Professor uh, Jesus, but Jesus. we call him by his first name because we, like, we all met up. And, uh, his first name is Manny. Like, he's more into 3D modeling right now. So, he's taking, like, tips from him, learning from him, like, one-on-one -on -one time, like, on the computer, doing all, uh, all his work. So you're saying that he, he does different kinds of art, uh, 3D modeling, drawing. Uh, what is, oh, three, no, continue, go ahead. Uh, he, he moved on from uh, like, uh, being a fan artist to 3D modeling and okay. doing all that work. Okay, so does he want to stick to that? Where does he want to go with his art? Does he... For his, like, he's, like, he's just very inspired by video games. He loves like, like the story, it projects off them, the gameplay. So he just want to be in, he just want to like, make his artwork into a game because that's like his, like his goal right now, be a video game designer, doing the art, the, like the scenery, and have his work uh, like projected to millions. Well, pretty cool. So he's going to school for this now. Yes, that's very yeah. that's very cool. Uh, has he ever thought about say giving up? There was a point because that's very harsh criticism that we yeah. saw earlier. Has he ever thought about say quitting or giving up or anything? Uh, I know Mormon. He's not a, really a quitter because uh, he likes to complete something like art. So he's he's not much of a quitter or 
we might not see like, oh, I should give up on this project now. It took to me to, like it's taking me so long. Oh, so he's very devoted. That's yeah. pretty cool. Well, thank you for being with us, Govinda. Thanks. Thank you very much. We hope to see his works in uh, yep. other places. Yeah. Be sure to check with us on the next episode of The Real, where we interview real people with real stories. I'm your host, Kevin Gomez, and thank you for watching.